Hi guys, today I'm going to attempt a braided handle. I've never done one before, um, but I've seen them on other channels, so I'm going to give it a go. And I'm going to start with this rusty old quarter inch rod. Uh, again, I don't really know how long to cut them, but I'm, I've cut one at 30 inches and one at 32, so one's two inches longer than the other. Um, and we start off by bending the big one around this, or the longer one, around this bit of half inch gas. It doesn't have to be half inch gas, I just chose half inch gas because that's what I'd got kicking around on the bench. Um, can be any size really, it's only to make a loop uh, that you can hang whatever it is on. So I'm going to mark the centre, roughly, just so you try and get it near, somewhere near the middle. That's about right, not far off. Get a pair of grips, get them all ready to grip it because we're going to heat it first then grip it. So actually I'm going to put it on the bottom there, make life easier. So that's ready, somewhere to, close to hand. And now I'm going to heat either, just either side of the chalk mark. Now unfortunately this is something that you really need to do with gas. Um, I don't think you do it in a forge very easily. Um, the heat needs to be too specific needs to be right in the right spot. If you try and do a long heat from a fire, I don't think it'll work. Um, you could try it and keep cooling it out if you haven't got the gas, but this is the best way to do it. So I'm just heating up, I suppose about an inch, inch and a quarter either side of the centre. I still can't work out what's wrong with this camera. I've got an IR filter on it, but it still looks much hotter than it actually is. That looks like it's almost white hot, but it's actually just over orange. Anyway, doesn't matter. Clamp it on, pull them both up as far as they'll go. Don't go too far. Heat them up again and just pull them round. Just want them to go sort of level again so that they're sort of flat at the top so you've literally just got a loop in the bottom like that. Let's have a little look. No, actually hasn't come out very round. I made a bit of a Harry Halls up there but never mind, doesn't matter. I'll get it right on the next one if I ever make another one. Alright, can do away with that bit of gas pipe. Stick the loop in the, in the vice, sorry not the forged vice, slip the other rod which you've marked in the middle through the loop and try and I need a hammer, let's get a hammer, there's one just tap that down in there so that they are nice and tight, a snug fit which that isn't still but never mind. Right I'm going to Put the camera up a bit so you can see a bit better. Right, now you can basically see what we've got is a cross. So I'm just going to get the gas axe light again. And just heat each bar in turn. Doesn't matter which one you start with. Well, obviously it's got to be the one that's going through the loop. And you want to keep the heat nice and short so you get a nice tight bend. And just pull it up and over again just so it goes level. And do the other side. Just trying to keep it nice and tight. And we get a nice neat braid, I hope. And then we go to the side ones. Again, just up and over, nice and tight. Back over again. And because this is quarter, um, it's actually keeping quite hot. So you can almost go straight from one to the other because it's uh, the heat's sort of transferring. But you still need to just direct a little bit of heat on each 
bend just to keep them nice and tight. And see, it's fairly straightforward. It's a bit like um, paracording, I suppose. Paracording with steel. I might even look up some other paracord designs and see if I can do them in steel. That'd be interesting. Anyway, you can see what's happening. It's just backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. If it was made out of what five sixteenth or three eight or ten mil or whatever, it might be not quite so quick and easy. This quarter's bending up nicely. You know, it's getting a bit boring, so I think I'm going to skip forward. You can see what I'm doing, and um, as if by magic, we're getting towards the top. It's starting to get a little bit wobbly, so you just have to try and make sure the heat's directed in the right spot so that you don't end up sort of collapsing the whole thing. I dare say, if I turn the gas down a little bit, and there's a bit more specific with the heat on each exact spot. It seems to be working. It looks like it's coming up fairly even. And so this was 30 and 32 inches and I think it's going to make quite a nice length handle. Um, I think it's going to give enough handle and enough to still work with by hand without having to get tongs and grips and things on. It's just starting to get to the point where you have to be a bit careful. You don't burn your fingers with the torch when you're crossing over. I think we must be getting almost there. I don't quite know how far to go with this. I'm just sort of going. You can see there how it sort of gets a little bit wobbly, but I think probably one more. I think I'll call it a day because it's starting to get a bit warm at the ends. Alright, not quite sure how to finish these off. Um, these side ones that are under will be fairly easy just to bend up. But these that are over aren't going to be quite so easy because it's sort of trying to undo itself. Yeah, they're not quite figure out how I'm going to do that. I think what I'll do, I'll heat it up and then get a pair of pliers and see if I can bend them up with some pliers. If I can find them. There we go. Just get up close. Sorry, you can't actually see what I'm doing. Let's do it left handed. Just pull them up. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this handle. It's not made for anything specific. It's just for the demo. So I'm going to just pull them all up straight for the time being. Try and get them up tight and straight. Um, something like that. And then I'll figure out what to do with them afterwards. So let's cool it out and have a look. Alright, cooled it out. And that looks quite nice. It's quite straight, it's quite even, there's no... Well, apart from that, that's not particularly even, but I'd get that right next time, I think. It's only, you know, for hanging it on, whatever it is you're going to put the handle on. But the rest of it, it's come up quite nice and even. If the forge was alight, I'd sort of um, weld these up, not forge weld, but weld them, and then draw them out into a sort of square or whatever it was going to be put on. But I'm not really sure what I'm going to put it on yet, but so I'll leave it like that. I might weld it all up and do something else with it. Not really sure yet. 
Anyway, let's give it a, a, a wire brush up and see what it looks like. I've just got this electric wire brush, really useful tool and grinder. I've got different ones as well, I've got ones that go the other way, get into uh, different, different areas. I'm just going to go over this cup shape one for the time being. And it's quite nice because it just sort of highlights the tops of the and the bits that you've bent over. You can try and get into the little nooks and crannies. It's not horrendously successful, but in a way that's quite nice because it just so highlights the the, the ridges or the up bits. I'll give it a go with an ordinary good old hand brush. That'll get in more into some of the little nooks and crannies. Turn it over. Give the other side a go. You can see how it's come up quite quite even, you keep those bends nice and tight, it actually comes up quite uniform, you get quite a nice pattern. I don't know why I've never done one of these before, I've seen them all over on you know, YouTube, lots of people have done them, but I never thought to do one. And I saw a fellow smith the other day at a um, a market, open air market, he was there vlogging a few bits and I was just there having a look around, we had a chat and this was one of the things he'd got there and I thought perhaps I'll give it a try. So I had half an hour this afternoon, just knock it up and see what's what. That's not bad. I could spend an awful lot more time on it. But you get the idea. Really nice. Nice feel to it as well, actually, surprisingly. Very nice feel. The ring isn't essential. You know, you, you could uh, do away with that if you wanted to. But it's quite nice to, if you're making a poker or something, you want to hang it up. Of course, I've set the focus on the camera and I'm out of range, so sorry. You can get the idea, though. I'll um, try again. Refocus. Well, that's still not focused properly, but there you go. That's an idea. So give it a go. See what you think. Thanks for watching.